How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Squeal's Gaming Channel. Today it's Conan's Exiles. Um, I'm doing another base showcase video, um, but we're going to be doing Conan videos today. Um, I'm kind of at my little tower in the sky here, um, and it is above what is pretty much my main city. And I have the god cheat on, so I can't die. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump, just to show you how high that freaking tower is. Now you can just now see my town coming into view. pa -cha! You land on the roof here, and there's kind of this, like, upper temple on top of this little building here. Um, if I can get unstuck. And then you've got this little second floor here. Just a nice little little overlook here. Some cool armored guards and whatnot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn. I guess I can go ahead and open this door. And you got this whole little crafting area down below here. I thought it was actually really cool. You got the whole elevator system here. The next level is like a school type of thing here. And you come down here there's this epic like lobby and then if you go down even farther there's actually a little prison so yeah just kind of randomly right off the bat this base is already pretty proud of this one it's pretty cool um, this is kind of the main gate here so we've got like the town temple up here kind of where all the main people are in charge and you can see that's the building that we just looked at so we started at the tower which is like way up there in the sky see it fell down landed up there and then went down checked out that whole building and now we check out the tower here so but I'm gonna go ahead pull up the admin panel here and enable the flight cheat so we can look at the rest of this now um, Let's get a first little glance at everything. So this is kind of like a central little part of the map. Um, it's like this island in the middle of the river here. Uh, this is kind of like my base at, at first glance. You've kind of already seen, you know, these buildings here. This is a bank over here and kind of like a trophy room. And then right there, actually, in the water, the river there, I built, like, a little fake boat that doesn't really do anything. It can't, but it just looks like a boat. But here's the bank. Here is the trophy room type thing. It's got paintings and stuff. And then that's about it. That little thing right here, this is, like, a garden type thing. It's got various different plants in it. And then this is a drawbridge, which ultimately you would follow this bridge over here to kind of the lesser part of the town, I guess. <clears throat> I've got like storage, a tiny little gladiator pit, um, slave area. This is the little makeshift boat I was kind of telling you guys about just a second ago that I built just out on the water here, looking like we got a boat. Just cause. Conan was fun because this one's really probably my favorite one to actually like build on. It's just the most accommodating with what you want to do. But I also really kind of like the the role playing element of it of just having like these human characters that you can just kind of populate your town with and fully deck them out in whatever you want them to wear. And sometimes they'll even be doing activities. Like these people are managing their crafting stations. I got like a little tent here, a whole setup. Kind of like a little town monument, even. Some animals in a taming pen. A ritual site. A little dancer over there putting on a show for some people. A whole stage that I actually built. A tavern here, um, which is actually pretty cool. It's got a little overhang here. You come in here and actually see the full thing. That's assuming I can get in here. Here we go. Actual little tavern come over here um, and you get this whole area is protected by a wall obviously it's got an elevator for guards to get up to the top level and then there's a stable kind of just here a bunch of horses 
transport supplies convenient and I've always got little battalions of soldiers in this game that's kind of just something that I always like to do um, the only other thing I didn't cover as far as this base is this little tower over here that connects to a tiny little tower right there in the first part of the base um, it's just a way for me it was a way for me to build a different type of elevator one going straight across instead of up or down and you can just kind of ultimately take it back and forth and it's secure as you can see so you can just get to the other side of the river here if that's what you wanted to do um, other than that I've got two major locations on this one yet another thing that's making my capture card wig out um, I'm gonna go ahead and travel to what I considered my kind of forward base my forward military base this is one, um, it's kind of one of those classics like I do in a lot of these games. I pick a good location that's kind of already got something really good going for it as far as the terrain and I build on top of it. This was sort of like a ruin type base and I turned it into a dock and also kind of like a fort. Um, this one was pretty straightforward. But we'll go ahead and look at it. So when you pull up here, you've got this little dock. I have a lot of different stuff going on, really cool armor. Some little rafts I kind of made. Slaves or whatever. And then this this, this is what uh, was already here. These are the ruins that I was telling you guys about. Oh, PvP. Uh, yeah, we don't want PvP right now though. And you come up here, there's kind of like this little bridge area. Um, just kind of fortified it. And then this area, I've blocked in. Um, I got some basic crafting going on in here. And then if you climb this ladder, there's like a whole second level up here, kind of more catered to archers and stuff. But I thought this was just kind of a cool little little addition up here. Because then you can come right out here. We have these guys stationed and see sort of overhead and that's it that's pretty much just this fort that's that's base number two now the other base that I'm going to show you guys is kind of also again same boat it was a a base that I found and it was kind of already it had a lot going for it it has this it's kind of what you see like in the screen here in the background there's like that large bridge type thing there um, this ended up leading to what is almost kind of just strikes me as a castle so it's kind of what I went with I just ended up turning it into sort of like the palace um, for this one I'm definitely going to want to be flying so we'll go to admin panel here go to fly and I'm more or less where I actually need to be cool so this is pretty much it here this whole bridge and then these two towers kinda this is the base area um, I wouldn't normally come to it from the ground but there is this kind of open space here um, I filled it with two gates so there's no way in or out and then even if you get inside the gates here there's just all kinds of undead spirits tames just all sorts of monstrosities guarding a stairwell that would ultimately take you up to this tower that I just mentioned where I built a little gate here but you get in here and this is kind of main area this bridge goes on and on and on so I have another gate here um, we're not going to go out that way because it doesn't really go anywhere but it's just a bridge just like this but these two things kind of can join here on what I figure is kind of like a good little place a hub of information that's quite the view wow and you would follow that over here I've got this nice big map dope fireplace and I kind of turn this this bridge into like I said sort of like an epic looking palace here and I got an elevator over here that goes all the way to the ground it's kind of just like an escape thing really it doesn't really uh, serve much purpose this base is pretty simple but it's very cool get to the end here you've got like a courtyard some extra horse stuff 
battalion of soldiers, more statues, my throne, the guards, the whole thing. But then you kind of sneak around here, though, and this is just, again, most of this is natural, and I just built in it. There's, like, this whole back section here that just kind of looks like the innards of a palace. So I went ahead and just did some random little light things in here to spruce it up. And on this back balcony-type thing here, went ahead and just created this little light box for a bed. Thought it was pretty cool. And this is kind of just, you know, your personal little palace. Nothing super fancy, quite like the town that I just had built there in the, the previous location. Forgive the capture card nonsense. Um, so now, there is a temple that I built. Guess we'll go ahead and show off real quick here. I didn't expect to be in water. Yeah, the teleporting thing is the result of uh, being in an admin mode right now. It's kind of the cheat, a cheat perk. Got to reactivate flight every time, though. Yeah, this is just a random little temple I built. This isn't really a base. Similar situation there. You know, I got an elevator all the way to the ground there. Um, this was just something that I thought was visually really cool with the water kind of falling down here. And it's just suspended in the air. It's like this bridge. Uh, made this kind of like a water palace. As you see here, this is all water. Front gate there. This one was actually a little bit more fancy. Yeah, I almost for actually forgot about this base. You got some guards there. People there for a throne. You go through the gate here. And this is kind of the front view of it. Pretty, pretty fortified, very cool. Got a guy guarding the elevator here. I got two different elevators. And then this path just goes on and on and on all the way down. There's really nothing more to it. That's pretty much this base, though. Just thought it was a, this was a really cool one. Okay, swapping over to Isle of Sipta. Um, this is just kind of where I last loaded in. Uh, this isn't really much of a base. Just kind of a... On this map, I really kind of tried to establish like a territory for myself. So this is just kind of one of my borders. I had like a little mini keep here, sort of uh, guarding one of the borders. It's kind of cool, just for what it is. Just a little setup. I think this is also one of the uh, the, the DLC equipments, like new building pieces and outfits for everyone that they launched. Um, so that was the theme that went into this. Got like a blacksmith. Go out the door here, and then there's just the bridge to the gate, and then it kind of just goes this way, deeper into what is known as the woods of my territory. We'll see how uh, the map decides to make this one wig out. Oh hey, the Isle of Sipta map works just fine, unlike the regular map. Well that's convenient, that helps this part of the video. Um, guess we'll go ahead and check out the private villa because this is the one other structure on the map that I did kind of build. It's cool, but it's not really a base. It's just sort of a location that I decided to put a little bit of ownership into. Yeah, we got some people here looking for a swim, kind of. Yeah, so this is just a little cool little pond. Another little raft guy over there. Some people hanging out. Um kind of like little villa type summer cabins I guess I don't know what I was going for with this it's just a cool little place to visit really and then you go up this way and there's it's like a little collection of people up here <laughs> some cool outfits I guess and that's really all this is Nothing more to it. Just a cool little site. So, now we're going to go ahead and go to... See this keep that I built, right? Flotstrom Keep. This is a keep that was built... Uh, I kind of had an idea going into this, and then I, this is something where... This is a true story of I just got lazy... Like, barely even into building this this fort that I just decided what I was going to do was just too much. And I humbled my idea a bit. Let's see if I can remember how to make myself fly here. Yeah, there you go. 
but it's still cool for what it is. It was just kind of using an excuse to use one of the new building materials that came when Isla Sipta dropped. Um, little, little tiny little creek here with a fort at the end of it. It's actually kind of decked out. You come in through the gate here. You've got kind of a bunch of different stuff going on here, and then this big waterfall that kind of also is serving as like a chill area. Big area that leads up top here. Got a few things going on. Um, and then we got this tree house. Figured out the tree platforms were a thing. This is just kind of a weird little space here that I tried desperately to fill. But it's cool. And there's even a little back door to this base. So you can actually get in this way if you were sneaky. And take this up to this ladder here. A couple ladders, really. And here's another little area. Like, just kind of a way for you to come chill, I guess. But really, it's about this tower. Because now we got some guards up here, or a guard, I should say, kind of overseeing everything. And that's really all there is to this little fort. Um, but if you real nearby here, there is this creek here, whatever you want to call this, kind of trails off, as you can see here. And it leads to this bigger area of water over here, which is where I built another thing, kind of using the same material, but this time... Um, more another ship kind of like I guess how I did in the the first map there but this was technically the first time I decided to build a ship and this ship was a little bit more involved than the other one it kind of actually ended up being the br blueprint for that other ship that I built something in the woods really wanted to murder me there but not today and see and this ship's got like a full even lookout and everything well lit it's got some sails and everything it's actually looking cool you've got a cabin here but also the lower part just got kind of like a chill space I guess This doesn't have a lower part. Some of the ships I do, I put like a little side mount garage in them almost for like smaller ships. But this one I just wanted to make like an actual kind of sailing ship. It's cool. So now, if you've seen all that, uh, we can go ahead and check out the little port town that I made. Now we've just got two bases left to go in this video and they're my two main bases. Actually, I'm sorry, three bases. I've got two main bases, and then there's one base that's just really not even much of a base. It's just kind of like a little establishment. But and that'll conclude this video. I have heard whispers that there might be some kind of new content for this game in the future. Nothing really confirmed yet, but I'm really hoping it's the case so I could actually really go for another map. Um, but here is a little port town that I made. Another little tiny super ghetto ship with some various different things going on here. I actually think this is pretty cool. You get like, you know, your little kind of town center type thing, chill area, bar type area. You even got like a little patio up top here. And then you've got this kind of like a wizard mage guild, I don't know. Pretty cool. And then even like this little back uh, kind of hidden storeroom. Making for a little interesting, little interesting setup here. Got a bunch of horses going, some extra, extra stuff going on in the back here animal pen and then technically this little elevator thing series of elevators this would take you all the way up top here now this base is kind of a three in one base and see there's even a halfway point you would take that elevator to that elevator and then 
but yet one more elevator. And he would arrive. There's also kind of this little... That's really nice. Let's see if I can get that to go away. There we go. Little bridgeway here with a gate. Kind of cool courtyard. Went actually cool with the plants for once. I really went all out on this one. And then got somewhat of a little palace type thing here. So it's like you got your little town down there, only to have your castle up top here. And I thought this castle was pretty cool. Another little meeting of the minds here. The throne is for me. And then I thought it would be kind of a waste because there was this whole other little island here. So I went ahead and connected another elevator to it. And turned this into like a church-ish temple type thing. Don't mind the random bed down there. Uh, there was a reason I did that. I can't remember. Maybe it was a spawn point necessity or something. But this place has a little, tiny little tower. But I kind of turned it into another little trophy area. Kind of like a hunter's guild. And then, yeah. That's pretty much it for that one. Um, I've got one more major build in this model. We'll go ahead and show you guys... I'll show you guys the camp, and then I will show you my mansion, and that's it. The camp will be done with this in like 30 seconds. Well, the, lo the longest part of this will probably be the loading screen here. All right. This is pretty much all this is. It's just kind of like a little overhead area here. Sort of up in the mountains. Kind of close to enemy territory. Um, it's mostly just tents. It's literally meant to be like a little military camp. Got a bunch of different soldiers and stuff kind of spread out here. Various different supplies. This is pretty much it. There's really not much more to this than what you see here, kind of. It is kind of cool, I think for what it is because I did build all this um, this was kind of just to the point of where I was like I was still really wanting to play this game but I didn't have any ideas left or any real effort to put into the game as far as like mental energy so I just made this cam because it was kind of like it allowed me to keep playing the game despite all that but now we're just gonna check out my mansion this is kind of where I spend most of my time at in this one it's another major base of mine So yeah, you can see kind of this is the mansion. This little tower here was already here on this island, so I thought it was just a really cool site. I wanted to connect the tower, but it wouldn't let me build on that tower, so I had to build next to it. But uh, we got our little mansion here. Got its own little personal dock here that's quite busy. And it connects all the way up to the house. You come through here. And then you've got kind of this main room here. Had a little bit of trouble with terrain here, but rough, rough kind of run through the mansion. Some cool stuff going on here. Cool rooms, right? A little, little study, you know, and different stuff going on. A little kitchen over here. Got some servants, some people cooking and whatnot. You go up the stairs, even. You got some more interesting stuff up here. A whole balcony with curtains and everything. Like, look at that. That's fancy, right? Here's your bedroom. Um, you got this over here, which is like guest bedroom, pretty much. You got this room, which is like the secret ritual room. Dun, dun, dun. Or, you know, maybe it's the room for your special kinks. And then we got this room, which is like the throne, kind of, you know. You are, I am a leader at the end of all this, so I always got to have my a throne in each base. And then this would be the back door. Kind of got like the dining area right here in this le back little lobby. But I thought this was a really cool little actual gazebo type thing over here. You can walk all the way to. 
And this will be a lot of the times where I just log out. I'll just sit right here and log out. And you can see all the windows. Kind of this cool mansion. This whole build, I think, is really cool. It's one of my favorites. Um, but that's pretty much it for the Conan base show-off. Um, I'm hoping that there will be some new future content. Make sure you guys are following my Instagram if that's a thing. Um, as soon as that is a possibility, I will let you know if that becomes a thing. Let me know in the comments if you guys have played this game, what you think of uh, this game versus some of the other survival building games out there. And leave this video a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.